are living in a time where there's an industry that makes fun of everything. And their purpose is to actually decrease our sensitivity to the subject. They want to make us less and less sensitive to the, the honor we're supposed to show to the Messenger So eventually it's not a big deal. You guys know what's happening in Hollywood. There, were, there was Noah, a movie about Nuh then recently a movie about Musa السلام, and this is just them testing the waters. You understand what I'm saying to you? They're just testing the waters. And these movies are horrible. I don't, if you've seen it, make a step up, boycott these films, do not watch these films. We should have nothing to do with these films. You shouldn't even learn them to know what the kuffar are saying. There's no point in you learning what the kuffar are saying. They have nothing good to say. Don't worry about it. And as a matter of fact, their account, the Hollywood version, is a, a, a deviation from the biblical version, which is twisted already. <laughs> the Bible's version is bad enough. And then they add their own chat masala on top, and then they make these movies. And you know, movies can have a very lasting effect on people. When you watch an image one time in your head, then you know, those of you who saw Prince of Egypt, when you think of Musa alayhi on the picture comes in your head, that's messed up. That's not supposed to be there. So don't, don't watch this stuff. And if a new controversy comes out about some cartoon or something else, don't go look at it. Don't go look at it. Then you, if you go look at it, you're part of the problem. No, 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 I was just looking at it to see what they do. So I could say Astaghfirullah. No, you are part of the hit count. They're counting how many hits that video got. Or how many clicks this image got. And you are now counted among them. You made it popular. You know when a video becomes popular, when a, vi a video has a million hits, then the next person clicks it because it has a million hits. When it has 10 million hits, you look at it, hey, I got 10 million hits, it must be good. Must be something. If you are part of that hit count, then you are partly responsible for making it popular. We have to ignore this nonsense altogether. A dog barking cannot harm the sun. It's too high up. Let these people spit whatever they want. That cannot take anything away from the nobility of our Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Allah says, رَفَعْنَا لَكَ ذِكْرَكْ We raised your mention. When Allah raises something, no creation can bring it down, people. No creation can bring it down. They can say whatever they want. Whatever they want. It will change nothing. It will change nothing. It will take nothing away from the nobility of our Messenger ﷺ. And we have to adopt the prophetic model in responding to these insults. When the Messenger would be you know, insulted, and a poet would come in, instead of calling him Muhammad, call him Mudhammam. He would say, he's not talking about me, it's someone else. It's someone else. This, this is not our messenger, this is some twisted version of whatever they have in their head. You know, Al-Ina' bima fihi yandah. We cannot get so reactionary. Muslims have to show a higher level, a more sophisticated level of response to these people, to this craziness. And by the way, when we act crazy, then they turn around and say, see, we told you these people are crazy. Proved it. See? This religion, the religion of sophistication, the religion of sabr, the religion of thought, the religion that keeps asking people, Afala ta'akilun, why don't you use your minds? Think, think, think. Now it's associated with the most thoughtless people. We're supposed to be a model for humanity. Let's rise to that occasion. Our Messenger والسلام, deserves it. We have to show that loyalty to him. قد ألف بين قلوبهم وبحبل الله قد اعتصموا قسما بالله رب العالمين